Hang on, where's my screen? Starting off the news this week, a new study published in the journal Science Advances has revealed that microscopic particles of plastic have been found in the snow that fell from the sky in the Arctic. The research was carried out by a German-Swiss team who have said they were shocked by the number of plastic particles found in the snow that they collected. The theory that they suggest as to how these particles are reaching the Arctic is through a combination of global winds and something else that transports it great distances in the atmosphere. We just don't quite know what that is yet. As to where the plastics actually come from, as in what products, that too is not totally clear, with clothing, wind turbines and ships scraping across the ice all being potential candidates. While the Arctic environment is often seen as one of the world's largest pristine regions, those who live there will be breathing in microplastics like the rest of us. In other news, the joint European-Russian mission to send a rover, called the Rosalind Franklin rover, to Mars has hit another setback, as a parachute test in Sweden has again failed. This means that if the mission hits another setback, if another test fails, the launch date of July 2020 would have to be delayed in what would be a devastating setback for the team. The primary mission of the Rosalind Franklin rover is to analyse soil samples that it will collect and search for organic material, which could give clues to past or even current life on the Red Planet. An exciting task, but one that we may not even be able to see for some time if the team can't get everything in order for the next tests. Starting off the paleontology news this week, more giant birds from New Zealand. This time though, it's a huge penguin. The new species, named Crossvalia wiperensis, comes from the Paleocene epoch and is based on leg bone material. The species is similar in overall shape and size to another penguin from late Paleocene Antarctica, and is therefore placed in the same genus. However, there are enough differences in the morphology of the bones to justify a new species being named. This animal is now the oldest well-represented giant penguin known, adding to the diversity of big-bodied prehistoric penguins and providing further evidence that this group of birds develops large sizes near the beginning of their evolutionary history. Also this week, we welcome another brand new species of dinosaur, an Alvarosaurian theropod named Shishu Goanicus inexpectus. These strange dinosaurs, famous for their bizarre, highly shortened forelimbs, are largely known from the Cretaceous of Asia and South America. However, this new species comes from the middle to upper Jurassic of China. This makes it only the third Alvarosaurian ever known from the Jurassic, and the species displays some of the earlier developments in the evolution of the iconic forelimbs, while also retaining certain features that resemble the more typical hand anatomy of theropods. And finally, some paleobotany. This week saw the publication of a very interesting paper describing the discovery of a fossil forest from the Devonian period preserved in situ at a location in the Chinese province of Anhui. The fossil plants found here belong to a new genus, now named Guangdidendron, a type of tree known as a lycopsid. Lycopsids would eventually come to dominate the earth during the Carboniferous period, and the site preserves the earliest example of the rooting system that the tree group used in later times. The paper also describes the ways in which this discovery adds to our understanding of how these forests could have reduced atmospheric CO2 during the Devonian, and their effects on coasts. Thank you very much for watching this week's episode of 7 Days of Science. If you enjoyed and haven't already, feel free to subscribe to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds you. And as a side note, good luck to everyone receiving exam results tomorrow, including Ben of course. And, and myself I guess. Can you wish yourself good luck? Probably.